So, uh, Salise Frisco Kumari, you were a Lesotho international for quite a long time. You played professionally in or in the uh, Premier League of Lesotho uh, for uh, nearly three decades. Uh, you know about uh, Godfrey Chitalu having played against him. In 1972, he had a miraculous year in that he set two world records and he set two Africa Cup of Champions clubs records. The record he set in the Africa Cup of Champions clubs has been largely ignored and forgotten about and that has affected the record uh, for the calendar year. How important is it that this is properly recognised, his achievements I mean? I mean, now I'm taking as an African and uh, an African player for the Falcons. And Chital is somebody that I've personally played against, and I know how good he was. And his achievement, I think, must be properly recorded. Um, I've worked at the university, for instance, and I know how important record keeping is. And I must also concede that uh, record keeping at the, the stadium level during those days may not have been up to standard. And it is most unfortunate if such a record has been um, uh, missed. But it is important really that if we were aware that uh, the Chitalo's records, particularly what happened in the end, which we can, we can ask, uh, verify to or assert to, uh, I think it has got to be taken into account. In that, uh, those matches, he set the record which was for the most number of goals in a tie in the Africa Cup, African Cup of Champions Clubs and also the most number of goals in a match in the same competition. They've actually acknowledged the record, the second part of it, in terms of saying the club beat Majentia 9-0 and that that was a record, but they haven't actually said who the goal scorers were. It's actually known that uh, seven, which was the record, was scored by Chitalu, and uh, one each by Sanford Mvula and Boniface Simitoe. How important do you think it is that this is properly recognised? Um, for the sake of our, our football as Africans, I think our achievements must be recorded uh, correctly or properly. Um, I'm not saying... Um, that we play the kind of games that Europe does play, but I think our our level of our achievement must be recorded mm -hmm. properly because we are a continent, we are a people, and our achievements must also be properly recorded. Uh, it is important, really, that uh, the Chitalo's uh, goals that he scored here in the Sudo that we know it, that we are, that is the, the total mm -hmm. number of goals that we that we scored against mm -hmm. Majanja. Uh, must be recorded and Chitalo came out to have been the person who has won most of those goals. One of the most important things about the Chitalu uh, records is this is the one time you actually have good record keeping. You know how many goals were scored, what competitions, who it was against and how many he scored in individual matches for the whole of 1972. How important do you think that is in terms of Africa's uh, contribution to world football because this time you can actually show he scored all these goals and you have the records to prove it. I'm amazed that he those goals were not were not taken into consideration because I know that uh, the goalkeepers mm -hmm. there's there's normally a match commissioner during the the the, 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 mm -hmm. the Af cup, Af cup uh, competitions and then the the. The, the central referee himself keeps the number, he keeps a record of, of the number of goals that have been scored. So I, I don't know why they missed uh, Chitalo's uh, goals and why that record was ever, was ever missed. But it's, it's, it's part of human nature. If, if something wrong happened, but then we are able to correct it, then why can't we correct it? Because we all can say this is Chitalo's achievements here in Lesotho. What I'm actually saying with this is, this time, a lot of the accusation against African football is, you do not have the records to prove the things that you are claiming. This time you do. This is the one time you can turn around and say, no, 
the records show he scored all these goals. We can tell you what competition it was. We can tell you what day in uh, 1972 it was. We can tell you who the opponents were. We can tell you how many goals he scored in individual matches. In other words, we can tell you everything that you demand in terms of record keeping. How important is it that this is not a one-off, that Chitalu 1972 doesn't get seen as the one exception in African football where you can actually prove it. In cases where we have tangible mm -hmm. proof that this thing happened, then it must be recorded accordingly. Mm -hmm. In cases where there is no tangible proof and the record is not straight, then where it is this, then we, you can, mm -hmm. we can we can almost like break down because you don't have a tangible proof. But in this mm -hmm. particular case, where Chitaro's uh, goals were recorded properly and it is it is on record that he that he scored those many goals. Then I don't see why they, they should be a problem in in, in, in in straightening the record. I think it is important that it must be taken into account that this is Chitalu's record. No, I'm not just talking about Chitalu's record. Yes, I'm talking about um, this. Should this be seen as a blueprint for record keeping within African football? Yes, I'm also trying to support what you're trying to say, because we are saying, even in the, in the, in the African history, now our records are up to date. And it is important for us as an organization, the African Cup of Nations, the, 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 the you know, AFCOM, that our records must always, must always, and not by accident, they must always be up to date. So I think that is certainly very, very important. We have a project, and the project is, that we want to have record keeping brought up to standard of Chitalu 1972, eventually all over Africa. It's not going to happen overnight. It's one of, so the project is that we get statistics students and journalism students to research six months of a player's career. We have enough of them so they cover the whole of the uh, player's career. They share their raw data with the central authority that is looking after the thing. Uh, the central authority then distributes to each of the students the whole statistics that have been gathered, just the raw data, and they can provide whatever the, the dissertation they want. What I would like to ask you is, do you think that that would be something useful for Lesotho football and for African football as a whole? I think for African football as a whole, individual countries and the continent as a whole. Um, there was a time when football was just a game. But now football is not an industry. And the records of that of the, of the industry have got to be up to date. Um, at some stage, I want to believe that our soccer was not being considered as serious soccer as compared to the, to the soccer of our, of our other continents. But now, now that we do realize how serious now football has become as an industry, then it also means that even with the, in, in, in the sphere of record keeping, we also must come up to, to, our, to the standard and have proper records being kept by CAF, even individual, even by the individual clubs themselves. It, you know, it, it, it's a science that has got to be developed amongst and between the clubs and associations. So I, I, I want to support that because then it speaks to the performance of individual players, the performance of the individual clubs, and, and all the people that are involved in the football industry. Realistically, the only statistics from way back then, 50 odd years ago, that you'd be able to get access to by such research would be goals scored. The, so you basically won't get the number of saves a goalkeeper made, uh, certainly not in his career. You won't get the number of tackles and uh, the number of blocks a defender made. You won't get the number of... Uh, magnificent passes that a midfielder made to the forward line that led to goals, i.e. what we now call assists, the one thing you would have is goals. So I asked Leslie Notzi, the technical director of uh, LEFA, the three players he would like to see m that my project done for in Lesotho. You were one of those players. So I'm now going to ask you, who are the three players you would like to see this done for? in Lesotho as the priority, the first three? The first, the first three. If my name has been mentioned, then I'm also 
on a, a humble again. Um, I have a, a player that I, I admired during his, his, his career, uh, that is Guti Guti. I have a player also who I admired in Chini Matiti. I think those three uh, names for me would, uh, would be the names that I would stand for. Yes, I think you just mentioned two. Were you including yourself as the third? Because my name has also mm -hmm. been mentioned, I would also uh, mm -hmm. uh, be happy to say I'm, I may be included in the, in the, in the number, of, in the three numbers that you're talking about. And then mm -hmm. I, would, I would also want the, the, those other two to be, to be, to be included. Mm -hmm. Last thing I wanted to ask is how important do you think record keeping is? especially within African football? We, we, it is an industry that, we, that is growing. And it is, it is an industry that we are saying we have to match it with Europe, with, with, with the mm -hmm. Americas. And without any records to that, I don't see how we'll be saying our, mm -hmm. our, our, our football is growing. So it is important for us to be good record keepers mm -hmm. in, the, in, the, in the field of soccer so that we are able to compare uh, our soccer to, to that of Europe and to that of, of America, you know, I think that is, it will be very, very important. It's certainly very important, yes. Uh, I'm going to ask that again slightly differently. You have experience in universities as well, so you will know about the importance of record keeping. Yes. So in that context, how important is record keeping to restore in a, in a way, the honour of African football by being able to say this is what these players achieved over many many years ago. I, I, I think that um, not everybody can be able to, 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 to keep a record. I think CAF or yes, CAF mm -hmm. must come up with a system of how to keep records so that each mm -hmm. individual association, each individual club. Can, can, can be able to, to align themselves with that kind of a system. Not everybody can just come up with how to, 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 to keep records. But if then the Africa, Cup of, the, 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 the Africa itself can come up, come up with a system and say, this is what we want you to do. Every time a club goes to play a fixture game or an international game, these are the things that you have to do as a system, as of record keeping. I think that would be very, very important. Because if you leave it to the individual clubs or individual associations, nothing will come up which is scientific enough to, to keep the history intact. Thank you very much. My pleasure.